So folks, you're probably shocked when you saw this video appear in your feed and you said, Komodo's doing in Tiny Town again. Well folks, uh, it is true, uh, we are once again doing this series and it's gonna be something a little bit different. You know, every time I start this up, I always think, oh no, I've gotta repeat the same disasters and there's nothing new in the game. Well folks, fear no more because uh, Komodo has learned how to import low poly objects. And I want to create some actual custom ones too, but we got new things we can finally add to the city. We've got a bunch of cool stuff. Like, check this out. It's a tennis court. That's not in the default game. And the fun thing is, a lot of these models do actually match what was in the original game, so it doesn't look out of place. Uh, we have a giant stadium. Like, this is cool. We have a bird that stares into your soul. And overall, I'm pumped to start this series up again. So now knowing what I know about the game, we can pretty much do whatever you guys want, so comment down below what kind of disasters you want to see, what kind of areas you want to see uh, in a new city. Uh, the old city's gone, the computer might have exploded. So I figured it's time to start with a fresh slate and I already have an idea for a new build here. So we're gonna be creating a factory here. Now this factory, you're probably wondering, well, what does it produce? Well, this thing actually produces a special animatronic that's supposed to look over daycares. But little do they know there's gonna be giant animatronics spilling from it because there's something evil afoot. So I'm gonna use one of my new imported buildings here and I'm actually gonna add some pieces. We're gonna try to make like a factory scene except for the side of the factory is gonna be blown open where the animatronics are uh, escaping from. Now I am gonna go ahead and say we are gonna mix in a lot of the default parts that are in the game. Uh, that is something I'm not outlawing, so I need to put these towers over here. We're going to have like a main factory building, uh, which I'm going to have to make that a little bit bigger, at least this ground bigger. And then we'll have like a front gate. Uh, let's go ahead and place this over here. So we need to have rubble on the ground. Uh, this will be right near the uh, explosion area. And we'll have the two busted up towers over here, so that looks good. And let's get ourselves a big building in the back. Okay, that looks pretty good there. We're gonna put a fence. I need to get a road that runs through here real quick. And uh, we'll come back in once I kind of have the building layout set. So this is gonna be on the outskirts of the city. Uh, we could just say it was a normal manufacturing plant. Obviously, not a power plant. Not sure you want to stick one of those near the city. Of course, this begs the question, why the heck are they sticking something like this over here? I mean, we're just gonna go out on a limb and say they didn't know that the, uh, the animatronics were gonna go rogue. Also, they needed a big fence because, you know, you can never be too careful when dealing with such, uh, sensitive things as what we're dealing with here. Alright, we're gonna create that fence. So, I do have, uh, another idea. I do wanna also do some stuff that we've done on the channel as of recent. Uh, so I thought about doing, like, a flood, or, like, a flood escape style build. Uh, here relatively soon too. Okay, we need like some broken up parts. They're gonna be getting through the fence. So right here and we'll create like a little rubble path or patch. So check this out. This is another one of my uh, custom assets I downloaded. Uh, this is a parking lot. This is something I've always wanted inside of the game because we always normally just like stick cars everywhere. Uh, so now we'll have legit parking spaces. I don't know why that's a big deal to me, but it is. Okay, so I just thought of a cool idea. These aren't parts that I imported. These were on the workshop, uh, these tiles uh, that make the road look broken up. So I think, uh, yeah, there's going to be damage to the fence and stuff, but I think maybe there was an underground tunnel uh, that was leading out, and that might be a good area to have them spilling out. Uh, so I'm going to place this road piece. Actually, I want to make sure it's even uh, with the others real quick. And then we're going to shove this in on the side here. Here. And yeah, now we can kind of layer it down and have the tunnel uh, under the facility. So I'm going to make a hole on this side. So I'm going to say one of the cooling towers uh, might have, or actually I don't even know if that's a cooling tower. One of the towers actually fell down into it and uh, broke through. So I think that's going to look pretty cool. There we go. That's kind of created a nice 3D effect here. So I need to find an opening here. Uh, I think I actually have one. Also, check out this. Uh, I want to eventually use this thing. I don't think we've ever had a major highway system inside our towns. So I think that's definitely something we should utilize here soon too. Alright, so let's get back down to business. Okay, folks, so I kind of changed my mind up a little bit about how I wanted to do this. So it was actually a rail tunnel uh, on the uh, underground manufacturer facility that rails them out. Well, obviously, it's collapsed now. So we're going to say that's how they got out. I was going to put a hole in the side of the factory, but I feel like this is a much cooler means of escape. Plus, honestly, it's like one of the coolest little like destruction areas I've ever created, how it's actually multi-level. Uh, you got like a car smash down here, like a sign, lots of pieces of the road. You can see where the rail was coming out. 
I mean, we probably could even put like a train coming out of there. I feel like that might be kind of cool. So we could probably pile it in somewhere like right here. That way you can tell it's probably derailed all in the tunnel. I need to move this sign forward a little bit. Uh, honestly, it's cool looking, and I feel like that's an area that some of the animatronics can escape. So, I do want to have some oversized ones. I think for this facility, we're going to use the Ban uh, Ban characters. Now, quick note, not playing the game on the channel. Uh, plenty, thousand, million people have already done it. So, uh, the way I want to do it, I like the characters. I want to put them in more of like a creative light here. So, uh, I want to do something I want to do, and I feel like... Uh, since they were probably uh, manufactured in a facility, this is how they're going to be introduced into our world. So if it was an animatronic, we're going to say for the sake of our story, they were mass produced. Uh, now I am going to try to fiddle around with these models and see if I can find some that are a little bit more in action poses. To be honest, the only thing the bird does is walk for the most part in the game. So we're going to place these things marching to the street. So they are going to be in somewhat of like an orderly fashion because they're now being commanded. And we're gonna go over that here in a second. Also, I downloaded this. This is like a, uh, looks like a little, uh, we'll call it a package, a little bomb package. Maybe we'll leave a couple of these like spread out throughout the factory and that's how they were blown open the tunnel. So with every good story, we need a main villain. So we got our boy here, we're gonna call him Chuck. He's the uh, disgruntled factory worker here. And you know what? He's a lot smarter than people actually give him credit for. And he's decided to uh, unleash all sorts of chaos here. So we're gonna have him, uh, we're gonna say Chuck's kind of a loner and nobody really suspects that Chuck would do a thing. Except for all fact, he's literally carrying one of those little gas packs, but you know, it's fine. I also need to give him like a makeshift controller because I feel like that's totally what he would do here. Wait, what am I talking about? It's 2023, we're all on our phones anyways. So he's doing it via phone. Think anybody around's not gonna wonder why he's freely walking around the uh, animatronics here? I'm sure nobody's gonna question that, right? Okay, I need to build up the area a little bit around the factory. Uh, there is gonna be some buildings, probably more industrial style buildings. I need to make like another little rubble mark where the train would have run through. Uh, might be able to put like a destroyed building on that side. Also, I feel like I need to add a ton of these. So I think here at the factory, we're gonna do the uh, pillow bird and I think we'll probably do Ban Ban and then we can always modify the other creatures. I want tons of these, What? who am I kidding? There should be like a hundred of these things. It's a manufacturing facility. Okay, a little update on the scene here. Uh, I think the factory is pretty close to complete. So as you can see, the birds are out. Uh, they may or may not be eating people and standing on them. But yeah, there's a ton through the factory. I actually spread out some people here. I, I need to add a gate to this. I feel like a gate would be perfect, but uh, as you can see, pretty action packed on both sides. You got the downside here. Need to add a couple of the birds out over here. There we go, that's much more like it. So yeah, uh, <laughs> probably not a pleasant way to go. All right, so I need to add more like manufacturer buildings. I think maybe this will be by a dock. Uh, that way if we want to lead over into like a flood, or something here really soon. So let me go ahead and do that. Here we go, so this is the back side of the factory. I think I'm gonna have to scoot that forward slightly. There we go, so they have like a view off the back of it. You can see the dock behind it, or the uh, ocean area. So yeah, this feels like truly the edge of the city here. Okay, so across the street, I actually built like a, uh, a warehouse. I feel like you can actually see where the tunnel uh, went from, the train tunnel actually went from here, and there's kind of like a hole back there that's been covered up. So uh, it actually went under the warehouse. We could say this is maybe a storage area, so I got an idea. So I still like the idea about a hole in the wall. Uh, we could put a massive hole like inside of this wall here. And maybe this is where other creatures might be emerging from. Uh, that could be definitely a thing, I like that. Okay, we've added some more details here. So I went ahead and added some uh, to the back of the warehouse section. Uh, added some debris to the fence, moved around, put a proper gate up. Uh, so yeah, they're mainly escaping through probably the small hole here and down in the tunnel. And then it leads over to here. Uh, this is where I have more characters. I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. I'll just go ahead and show you, uh, what I have right now. I've got a Bam Bam. I got a Bambolina here. Uh, oh, that's just creepy. What is up with the eyes? Uh, we could probably stick something in here. I haven't quite figured that out. We'll probably save that, uh, for future expansions here. By the way, also, if I mispronounce a, a character, I am terrible with names. You can uh, ask in real life. It's pretty bad. Not even sure how I function. Okay, we're going to create an intersection here, and this will probably lead uh, into maybe a town. Uh, you'll have a little bit more area, I think, to this one section, or this one warehouse section. I'm going to go ahead and finish the fence over here. 
Part of me is kind of wanting to put a giant bird in the water in the back. So another thing I had, I was thinking maybe he could have like a, uh, almost, I guess you can call it like a, a shrink and enlarge gun. By the way, nothing makes sense here in Tiny Town, so you're just gonna have to go with it here. But I always thought this thing towering over the factory in the background uh, is actually pretty creepy. It could be going after a boat or something. Could put like a little wake around it uh, using uh, the little spheres. So yeah, if I put enough of these around it, we'll uh, kind of build upon it. And I'll put some white in there too. So yeah, this thing could be coming up out of the water here. Let's put a uh, captain jumping off of their ship over here. I feel like that'd be kind of fun. And when I say fun, I mean absolutely terrifying. All right, so he's gonna be coming off there. There we go. So the backside looks pretty cool. I think that adds a lot when you're looking over it. Uh, it's pretty crazy looking. So definitely I'll need to put some like port workers and stuff like that running through the area. Uh, trying to escape the release at the factory. And then I do want to add some of the uh, different vehicles up here too. There we go. That adds quite a bit of the scene. So you see people running away. Uh, running for their lives. Added a little more to the right here. Haven't really decided a whole lot about the warehouse. Uh, but overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the progress. Hold on, I'll let, let you guys see it kind of from afar here. Uh, created a pretty big area. Lots of detail, especially down in the uh, the wreckage there. Yeah, I think adding some, uh, like, almost like watchtowers to the uh, facility is probably a good idea. Definitely would have probably been a protected facility. Also, I thought about having this, like, almost like drainage hatch on the back side. And maybe they're trying to release some of the characters from there, too. So I want to put this to where I can just place it down. So that looks actually kind of cool. We might have a boat and maybe he's got some conspirators, people that he's working with. Uh, so let's go to Maritime real quick. I'm not gonna put anybody on the boat yet, but as you can see, there's some uh, explosives on the back here. Uh, so somebody's definitely wanting to release all these animatronics uh, into the city. So yeah, let me know what you guys think uh, about the return here, what you guys wanna see next. Comment down below and we will see you guys next time in Tiny Town.